Happy Monday, guys! Sia Zerabi here. Did you hear the good news? Today's episode is going to be incredible. You guys are going to learn a ton of cool stuff. Let's get started. There's a company in the middle of the desert that's going to turn plants into jet fuel. There's an oil in the plant, and when you break down its components, it's strong enough to power an airplane. What? Planes powered by plants? This agriculture facility is near the Abu Dhabi airport, and it has massive companies that are funding it. They made huge reservoirs of salt water in the desert, and they put little shrimp and fish inside to provide fertilizer for the plants. It's an absolute perfect system. The fish and the shrimp get fed, the plants can grow, and they're only using salt water and sand. Samuel owns a laundry mat in New York City. He used to be a social worker, so he understands how hard it can be for homeless people. So he donates his laundry services to make sure homeless people have clean clothes. Every week, he donates his services to wash a thousand pounds of clothes. How much clothes? A thousand pounds. He's not just donating the services, he's actually doing the laundry himself. He spends hours each night helping out struggling families and homeless people to make sure they have clean clothes. I even hate going down two flights of stairs to do my own laundry. Samuel, you're a champ. Businesses like this and people like this deserve to succeed. Not people that suck money out of community, but people that are giving back. A lot of the times we hear about species going endangered or extinct, we're never going to see this animal again. But did you know that there's animals being found all the time? Have you ever seen this animal? I know I haven't. It's called a pika, and it looks like a cross between a rabbit and a groundhog. This thing lives in the mountains of China. We didn't know it still existed. It hasn't been photographed in 20 years and only one guy was putting up his own money to help the species. One person really can make a difference. I'm sure you're one person. You're one person, right? You're one person. Yeah, you can make a difference. How many of you have used a plastic spoon and then just thrown it in the garbage? There's a company in India that's created an edible spoon. It's made from rice, millet, and wheat. And when you're done eating your food, you can eat the spoon. Oh, don't eat this. Every single day, we're eating food, and often we're not at home eating that food, so we have plastic cutlery that we're throwing away in landfills. These edible spoons are the solution to that problem. You can buy the spoons in different flavors, like garlic, mint, lemon, and ginger, depending on what you're eating. They should make the spoons dessert flavored, because you always have room for dessert, and then you'll have your spoon. I love cool inventions, and I love things that I can eat. In the last 50 years, as our population increases, cities get built, factories get built, greenhouse gases have also increased. But in the past year, our population has increased, and greenhouse gases have stayed the same. This is only because we've been changing the way we're doing things. We're more conscious about the environment, we're more conscious about what we're putting into our air, and we're making changes. There's solar power, there's wind power, there's battery operated cars. We're changing the way our world works, and it's helping mother nature. Be good to your mother. Pat yourself on the back. We're on our way to a better future. Iran just became the 31st country to ban elephants in the entertainment industry. Good job, Iran. You've done well. In a past Good News episode, I talked about how the Ringling Brothers stopped elephants in their performances. Since then, tons of countries around the world have followed suit. Elephants are incredible creatures. They're so smart, and they should not be in circuses. Elephant salute! That was a terrible elephant noise. In the tiny country of Bhutan, the king and queen just gave birth to their prince. To celebrate, every single household planted a tree. In total, they planted 108,000 trees to commemorate the prince. Inside every single tree was a little scroll with a prayer. So as the prince grows, the trees will also grow with a prayer for him. Why is this not a Disney movie? Disney, hop on board. This is great material. The media loves to talk about when people get taken hostage. But what about when they go free? In Nigeria, 520 hostages were just rescued. 
Troops from different countries in Africa came together to rescue these hostages. There's a bunch of terrorists and there's a bunch of soldiers and they fought and boom, they got the hostages out. Then they went to 11 other villages and saved 309 other hostages. That's over 800 people that they saved. Wasn't too good for the terrorists though. These are badass soldiers. Now 800 more people get to live. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Share the good news. I love good news. I love hearing it. I love sharing it. Spread it to people around the world. We need more good news in our lives. If you guys have any awesome stories of good news from around the world, share it with me. I have my email in the description box below. Give me your thoughts. Give me your feedback. Give me your stories. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next Monday at 9 a.m. He started a program called Orangutan School to help give them what they need to survive in the wild. Their habitat is in Sumatra, Indonesia. There's about 120 different species of plants, fruits, and insects that the orangutans normally eat, but they need to be showed which one and how to find them. Dana Falsetti is a plus-size yoga instructor. Now before she got into yoga, she was 300 pounds, she was unhealthy, she was depressed, she was binge eating, and she wanted to change her life. So she started eating right, she started exercising, she lost about 70 pounds and got into yoga.